All right, so this video starts out with Big Bang, and then it'll go on to explain, um, or visually explain, the solar system and the Earth and formation of the moon as well. Um, so let's begin. And there's our Big Bang, our big expansion. And um, from nothing develops everything. And so you see all of the material and stars and everything that was suddenly created expanding before your very eyes. Um, they kind of skip through a lot of stuff, you know, of, of uh, original material that occurred immediately after the Big Bang. <coughs> they, went, they immediately go into stars and galaxies passing by us. So you're going to have to, you know, realize that uh, it's, it's, it's sped up quite a bit. Here is our Milky Way galaxy, and as we go deeper into it, <coughs> that is a huge interstellar cloud, or uh, just a giant nebula. And it's spinning around, spinning around, and it begins to collapse and become more condensed and smaller. As it gets smaller, it starts to spin faster and faster, and our sun soon develops. And there is a protostar, a quick shot of a protostar. There's our sun, apparently. And more visuals of the great power of nuclear fusion and, and our sun. And one visual after the next. And then you can see our sun and uh, there's some solar activity there. And even though our sun has been formed, the interstellar cloud still has material flying all around the sun. And these things are called planetismals. Um, and the planetismals are kind of like when you're making a snowman and you have a ball of snow and you take another chunk of snow and you pack it onto the nut, into the bigger one and you just keep packing on more and more snow and your snowball gets bigger and bigger to make a snowman. So that's kind of what's happening here. All these planetismals are crashing, it, crashing into one another and forming what is going to be our Earth. And you can see Earth is still very hot, very soft. I think this is a uh, Earth rise, not a sunrise. So a view from the sun, watching the Earth uh, rise in the sky. And then uh, it's going to show, oh, here it is. They're going to show the formation of the moon. So there's this weird other huge body crashing into us. This enormous collision breaking up what would be the Earth. And what happens is those chunks of what was going to be the Earth scatters out into space. I'm going to pause this for a second uh, because I've been looking for what the heck these two things are. And if you can find it on, uh, on Google or in a book or ask a teacher, I have no idea. I put in, uh, I googled winged gods and I get all kinds of uh, pictures of this guy. Um, I'm assuming it has something to do with the Earth and Moon. Um, why this guy looks like he's wearing a, a wristwatch, I have no idea. Um, but if if you can figure this out for me, I'd be I'd be more than grateful. If I haven't figured it out uh, by the time um, you've seen this and you figured it out, then you have plenty of extra credit coming your way. So uh, let's continue. Alright, so the Earth got crashed into by this huge body of mass and uh, the chunks of de debris fly through space and forms another body and this thing here is going to turn into our moon. Let's back it up a little bit. Alright, so it crashed into us and we have all this debris flying and, and gravity collects all these little particles and form what becomes our moon and after a while Earth heals and um, reforms into its spherical shape, hardens, and becomes the Earth. And so this is the theory of how our, our moon was formed. And there's the sun, of course. Kind of cool. Um, pretty good visuals. Love the music. I think it was from Good, Bad, and the Ugly. I'm not sure. Some Clint Eastwood movie. Now it's going to go into uh, the surface of the Earth, and so they show all the volcanic activity, 
um, they're alluding to the formation of water. Um, doesn't look like there's much of an atmosphere yet, but it's coming. And if you remember from our books, uh, plate tectonics, the land masses move. Oh, look, color blue, and what looks to be an atmosphere um, surrounding the Earth forming. Uh, continental plates are drifting, mountains forming, and you'll see images of this in our book where the land masses move, uh, formation of Pangaea, the breaking up of Pangaea, and eventually uh, the formation of what our continents look like today. Remarkable. And there we are. From Big Bang to now in less than five minutes.